Hello my friends, today in this video, I will show you how to make your own BLDC drone motor controller circuit, using any type of N-channel MOSFETs, with some other basic components. So, watch the video till the end without skipping any part, so that you can understand better. First pre-solder all the pins of MOSFETs like this. Take 3 pieces of 10 kilo ohms resistors, and solder between all the 3 MOSFET pins like this. Also take 3 pieces of 1N4007 diodes, and solder across the MOSFETs as shown. Now take another 3 pieces of 1N4007 diodes, and solder on every first pin of MOSFETs. Take a 100 kilo ohms potentiometer, and place it over here. Take 1 kilo ohms resistor, and solder on first pin of potentiometer. Use a piece of copper wire, and connect these diodes and this resistor together. Also solder all MOSFETs pin 3 together with potentiometer pin 2. Now take these 5 mm thimble connected wires, and connect each with MOSFETs body. Now connect DC negative with pin 2 of potentiometer. I will show how to drive this BLDC drone motor with this circuit, but first let's test this BLDC hard drive motor with this circuit. Here is the circuit diagram of this circuit for reference. Now connect the wires with this motor like this. This motor has one wire common, and will be used to supply DC positive. Connect the circuit with 5 to 9 volt DC. As you can see it works perfectly, and with this potentiometer you can adjust the speed. This is the internal winding configuration of this motor and has three phases with one common wire as I already shown. But this drone motor has three phases, called the delta winding with no common wire. So. To drive this BLDC drone motor, I little modified the circuit diagram. To avoid messing up with components, I converted the circuit diagram into the PCB. In order to manufacture this PCB, just go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLCPCB website. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronic engineers to develop projects efficiently. Just upload your GABA file here, to get instant quote and order in minutes, it is easy as online shopping. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and color of the PCB as per your requirements. Quality and lead time is reliable, all in-house production, ensuring stability and strict quality control in every process, and lightning fast PCB production, in just 24 hours. And then you can save to the cart for the checkout process. Also don't miss JLCPCB's 6-layer PCB special, get $30 off with a coupon, and enjoy top quality 6-layer PCBs, plus 2 UENIG finish, and no engineering fees for wire-in pads. For easy assembly, I ordered PCBs from JLCPCB. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBs for just $2, efficient large scale production reduces costs, and bringing you PCBs in unbeatable prices. And then I prepared the PCB for its components. So, 
Let's place all the components into the PCB according to the circuit diagram. After spending some time with soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl. And our PCB looks nice and clean. Now pre-solder the MOSFET pads. This time I used 3205 MOSFETs. Trim the MOSFET pins like this. and solder these MOSFETs at its place. Use this 3mm nut bolts, and insert into the PCB and MOSFETs. Use these 5mm thimbles, and with nuts secure it with MOSFETs. Connect negative wire with ground of PCB. And connect positive wire with VCC pad. Now connect motor with the thimbles, that are connected with MOSFETs. Connect 9 to 12 volt DC supply. And with little push motor will start, since this is basic circuit without proper 3 phase oscillator MOSFET driver. With this potentiometer you can control the speed of the motor. As you can see it works perfectly. Since the design is very simple, this motor direction needs to be sensed, using back EMF technique, which the circuit lacks of. Also with this circuit, you can drive this hard drive BLDC motor too. Just need to connect common wire as positive input over here. And 3 MOSFET wires over here. Connect 5 to 9 volts DC input, and here you go. Control speed with this potentiometer, and it will work perfectly. As you can see it is working perfectly, and speed of the motor can be also controlled easily. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.